Well, hello again, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Fallout 76. I am Mental Fox, and I thank you for joining me again. Well, we have started this episode just outside of the beautiful Charleston Capitol building, and it is a beautiful building. If you've never visited it, you should uh, you should go check it out sometime. It's beautiful. Looks a lot better than this. <laughs> Uh, let's take a look at our uh, perk situation. We've got two level ups here to do. Uh, we could pick a new card or we could move a point. I think that we need to move some points around. Uh, for example, I don't think that I need um, six charisma. Um, let's see, I've got Lone Wanderer, which is probably a pretty good one to have um, in my situation here. Um, why does this have a three here, but only two stars here? That seems kind of strange to me. Shouldn't this be a three and a three? Strange. Um, yeah, that's kind of weird. And, and uh, let's see, Field Surgeon. I don't know. Who cares about this stuff? So I'm actually going to, let's see, move a point from Charisma. Whoops. Where, should, where am I going to move it? We're going to move a point from Charisma... Uh, into, um, well, I guess perception. Perception is, I want to max out perception because I've got a lot of stuff that I want to put in there. Uh, I also want to put more stuff into luck, uh, so that, um, is he shooting at me? Are you shooting at me, sir? Yeah, they're shooting at me. I should have, uh, crouched before I started doing that so that I was, um, invisible. Let's see if we could just get out of their line of fire so I could uh, do a little bit of thinking here. We'll just come up here in these weeds. Gosh, it still says caution. These guys need to give it up, man. All right. Are they getting closer? Are they following me? It still says caution. Hidden. Okay, now I'm hidden. Okay. Uh, go in here and then in here and then here going to move from charisma to perception that's what I'm going to do here so let's see go back here move a point from charisma to perception okay I did that and then we're going to move um, a point from charisma again to luck. Okay, there we go. Um, so charisma is at four. I still don't really understand why this is three, but it only has two stars. I guess I shouldn't f focus on that. And uh, concentrated fire is something that I want to put more points into. Um, so let's see. Can I rank this up? Um, I might not have any more concentrated fire cards. Um, let's see, how do I do this? How do I... I guess these are all the cards I have available, huh? So, I'm not going to be able to do an upgrade to my concentrated fire until I level up again, and then I could pick another card? Is that right? I think that's right. Um, and, um, let's see, I still have one unused point in Charisma. Uh, I mean, I might as well put, I don't know, Happy Camper on there, although that's kind of useless. Uh, I don't ever use blood packs. I never do anything with animals. Um, buying and selling prices at non-player vendors are better. Man, look, look how many of these freaking uh, stupid charisma cards I've got. Um, well, these are just dumb cards. Um, I'm just going to put this one on, just for the hell of it. Not that I plan on doing any buying or selling right now. Uh, and then over here in luck, I do have a point that I could apply. And um, let's see here. Um, luck. Bloody mess. I should up, up my bloody mess, but unfortunately I don't have any other bloody mess down here. So we'll just save that too. Okay. That's what we're going to do. Um, what else are we going to do? Why do I have so many markings on my compass down there? Like uh, locations I'm supposed to go to. What's going on here? Let me look at my quests. We got this one called Coming to Fruition. 
I've finally gotten the network routing schematics and access codes for the Scorched Detection Network. Now, all I have left to do is load Abby's Master Holotape into a relay tower terminal to upload all of this data. And it points me down here. Huh, somebody got a camp down there, too. Um, so, why do I have so many markings on my compass? What is this? This is, well, that's the relay tower I'm supposed to go to. Over here. Oh, okay. I guess it's just telling me I could go to any relay tower. Okay. That's why it's, there's so many markings. Oh, all right. Um, interesting. Uh, I wonder if there's a relay tower I haven't been to. Well, this one down here looks like one I haven't been to yet. I can't fast travel to it. So this is maybe a good excuse to uh, visit a new tower. Um, let's just walk over there. We haven't, we haven't done that in a long time. Just walk. Uh, one thing I don't understand is why on my compass, right in the center of my compass, this one location has like a door on it. Um, like if I'm going to enter something. But whatever. Let's just go. Let's just take a walk. Just um, enjoy the scenery a little bit. I saw somebody walking around over here. Level one scorched. Pretty low level dudes over here. This is, I guess, kind of an early game area. So that's why the enemies are so low level. I don't even know if it's worth looting them. Ammo is ammo. Ammo has no level. So 308 ammo, ammo on a level 1 dead enemy is just as good as 308 ammo on a level 50 dead enemy. Oh, <laughs> look at this bridge. Oh, hi. <laughs> eh, am I still going in the right direction? Yeah. I do. I am. Oh, hi, guys. <laughs> oh, there's a note here. This is uh, a raider corpse and a note. It says cursed. Um, I'm curious to know whether I've come across this note before. Do I have a note called cursed? I do. So we've already read it, but let's go ahead and read it again, just out of curiosity. What is this note? Uh, pulled the short straw with this guard duty. This place gives me the creeps. Sure, the water's almost all gone, but that doesn't change the fact we flooded this whole city not too long ago. Cynthia always told me, each murder brings you a ghost that follows you. I don't mind having a few, even a dozen, but this money, this money, this many, it ain't right. We'll leave that note there. I already have one. I don't need another one. All right. Me some shotgun shells, some rounds. Oh, this guy's just in bits and pieces. Try not to catch myself on fire. All right, continue our walk. It's like a nice evening for a walk. I think so. Just follow the road here. Make sure I'm still going the right way. I am. It's a player over here. Shadow of Jack. Just kind of hanging out over there. Pick up the pace a little bit. place we visited quite a bit earlier in the game. Who's this? <laughs> Jeez, stupid mannequin standing there. <laughs> hey, look, people. Nope, just mannequins. Oh, uh, she's got a knife in her shoulder. See that? Well, they're dressed awfully nicely. Oh. 
Well, there goes that player. He just went into what looks like a raider camp there. Um, I'm going to put a marker here so I know where I'm going. What's this? Stop tracking. No, no, no. Put me a marker here. There we go. And I'm going to go off the side of the road here and not go through that raider camp. And um, just start making a beeline for this uh, radio tower that I want to go to. Looks like there's also a cave out here. Yeah, Uncanny Caverns. That's a place I haven't visited yet. I was thinking that maybe the game would send me there at some point for a story-related uh, mission. I mean, it's one of the few places on the map that actually has its name, you know? Uncanny Caverns. Maybe, I don't know, maybe um, Uncanny Caverns is spelt out real big on the on a mountain, a la Hollywood. And that's why it's on the map. Go on, dude. It's just a hill. You can walk up the hill. I love how big this world is. That you could walk this far for this long and really encounter no other enemies and no other players, although we did see that one guy. I really like it. I really like it. Oh, somebody's walking around up there. Time to, uh, crouchy grouchy. And, uh, we'll see if we can't take these guys by surprise. Ooh, that guy was level 68. High level dudes here. I don't even know what hit him. Mm. Oh, a turret there. A friendly turret. Interesting. Or at least a... Oh, 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 now it's not friendly. This game was just taking a while to talk to the server. I don't know. I'll pick up these weapons and scrap them. This is a um, rather different looking tower. The outside of it is quite a bit different. What is this thing for like miniature protectrons? Sounds like there's maybe a ghoul inside. Don't know if I've ever seen one of these things in the game before, this little teeny satellite dish. Don't know why those turrets weren't shooting me. I mean, it's okay. It's not like my feelings are hurt or anything, but just surprised. Maybe that's a scorched walking around in there. It would make sense, wouldn't it, since we just saw some out here. It's weird how dark that is right there. Like, the lighting is... Really off. I hear somebody breathing and walking around, but I don't see them. So who knows where they are. Why is this so dark here? <laughs> Looks like it's a glitch. Drawn in incorrectly. Uh, there's a footlocker here. Do I want to go through the trouble of unlocking this thing? Apparently I do. Man, that's a tricky skill one lock. And a hubcap. Awesome. Alright. What else we got in here? Some ammo. First aid, nice to have. Ooh, somebody just purchased a bunch of five millimeter rounds from me. That's pretty cool. It looked like I got a good amount of uh, caps for it. 
Let's see. I am up to... Look how many caps I have now. <laughs> pretty good for me. Well, there's the terminal that we need to um, load the holotape into, but I'm just going to pick up more stuff before I do that. That's the lighting in this room is really kind of messing with my, my mind. I don't like it. It's just weird. Load the master holotape in a relay tower terminal. What it says. There's one right here. Let's use it. Uh, load holotape. Is this one the master one again? Once again, is that what I'm loading into it? I if there's a mod that sorts these things. I normally don't like to use mods on my first playthrough of a game, but I think this might be a good candidate. Okay, initiate file upload. Here we go. Relay tower terminal detected, initiating protocols, updating routing schematics, uh, uploading r r access codes, uploading priority message voice files, upload complete success, scorched detection system reboot, Required. Now we need to go back to Abby's bunker. Scorched detection communications. Have I seen this already? Okay, it's online. The rover repair unit is dormant, whatever that is. And uh, there you go. Okay, so now the quests are the, yeah, the quest is telling us uh, I was able to upload the data I gathered for the Scorched Detection Network on the Master Holotape through the Relay Tower Terminal. Now I just need to head back to Abby's bunker so I can reboot the system. Show it on the map. Where is it? Over here. Here we go. Uh, okay. Back to Abby's bunker we go. Holy cow, 51 caps. That's, that's actually sub a substantial number of caps. Um... Well, my camp is here. And then I'm here. So, I don't know. Going to my camp first would save me a few caps, but... Meh. Let's go. 51 caps. Traveling in first-class accommodations, apparently. I have to wait a moment since there's an enemy nearby. I'll just say goodbye to him. Travel on up to Abby's bunker. And then, I don't know, who knows what will happen after this. Some other goose chase the game will send us on, probably. Um, I mean, once we... Boy, that loaded fast. Holy cow. Once we reboot this system and we're able to, to, de to detect scorched, what do we do? What does that mean for us? Another loading screen here. Nice and dark. Do you have anything you want to say to me, Abby? No? Okay. Oh, man, these guys. Quick to repopulate this place. God, they're so disgusting. Oh, hi. Okay. Alright. Um, I'm sure we've read Abby's to-do before. I mean, come on. Right? Surely we read Abby's to-do. There it is. Okay, uh, reboot the system at Abby's bunker. Um, hmm. Again, it's kind of pointing me in a weird location. Like, like there's a door I'm supposed to go through. Where did I do this before? Oh, gone in another one of these nasty things. Don't run away from me. Reboot the system. Do I do it here? Reboot. Here we go. Ignoring any 
end all possible glitches. You are officially the most amazing person in all of Appalachia. That's me. And hopefully not the only one. The Scorch detection system is fully up and running. If you had any idea how long it took us to just get half the system functional, the lives lost, my brother, my dad, and yours truly, of course. Now, whenever the Scorched are around, the detectors will pick them up and broadcast a message to your pit boy. All that's left is the means to fight them off. If you haven't already, check my terminal to read about the traps we've created for the Scorch Beasts. Hopefully, they're still in working order, and they're your best bet at making those flying freaks manageable. Beyond that, the only ones with any real means were the Brotherhood of Steel. Obviously, they didn't last, but they packed some serious firepower. They took their last stand somewhere in the bog at a place called Fort Defiance. But, thanks to their code names, I have no idea where it is. You'll want to start at Camp Venture, Eddie's old survival training center. I've also put everything I've got on the Brotherhood under an entry called Fort Defiance on my terminal. Good luck out there. And, thanks. If this holotape is playing, it means our lives and all this work then something. Quest completed. Ooh, we got a combat armor left leg. And a photo frame. And we get flamethrower trap, Tesla arc trap, radaways, and some light combat torso something or other. Auto stim combat armor left leg automatically uses stim pack when hit while health is blah blah blah. Okay, well, we got some goodies, completed a quest, and um, <laughs> it did not kick off another quest at all. Um, we've already been to Fort Venture, we've already been to Fort Defiance. Um, so, really, the only main quest that I have left is this main quest. We're supposed to launch a nuke, and one of these days we'll do that. As far as side quests go, um, we've still got this Order of the Tadpole thing going on. Uh, this thing is something that's just going to keep going on. Uh, still supposed to be following the Overseer's mission. Uh, no hint as to where we're supposed to go next. And then we have some miscellaneous things here, too. So, I have to assume that we have already, uh, read this stuff on her terminal. Uh, we scoured this place pretty good the first time we came here. Um, I say that and I wonder if I even unlocked that safe. Um, let's go ahead and unlock the safe, just for the heck of it. Uh, see if there's anything cool inside of it. Equip my picklock perks here. It's possible that I missed this safe before. It's kind of hidden down here. This is maybe a tricky one to get into. So far I haven't gotten it to budge. Man, I haven't gotten it to budge! There we go. Uh, plan for a flamer, some rounds, curved ripper, and I'm over encumbered. Unfortunately, there's no bench in here. I wish there was. All right, I, I really don't need to re-loot this place. I really don't. So, um... What do we do now? Uh, let's see here. Well, I guess I could eat some food and drink some water since those are getting a little low. We will have ourselves some um, canned dog food. That'll help with our hunger. Boy, it helps with our thirst a lot too surprisingly it must be some really runny <laughs> dog food gross uh and then for dessert we'll have some sugar bombs and i'm still thirsty so we'll have ourselves some purified water that was um uh, it's kind of uneventful that was a lot of running around the map a lot of work to uh, get that scorch detection network set up and then suddenly it's just done uh, apparently, 
my pit boy will be notified whenever I'm near Scorched now, which may actually be annoying, but it might be useful as well. I don't know. Um, what is it that I do now? <laughs> uh, well, let's look at the map. Uh, we've been everywhere up around here, except for we haven't been to this Fisher site, and I still have never been to this um, munitions factory up here. I uh, still haven't been to Braxton's Quality Medical Supplies. And like I mentioned before, haven't been down to uh, Uncanny Caverns over here. Uh, haven't been to the Miner's Monument over here. And, um... Of course, there's still the thing that we could do down in Watoga. Uh, where we... Um, do that mayor's quest where we disable all the robots. I'll, I'll, I'll start an episode doing that because that looks like it may take some time. Um, just looking around here to see if any other gray icons are on the map. Places that I haven't uh, visited. Here we go. Here's a Slocum's Joe and a mine that we haven't visited. That's kind of surprising to me over here by uh, uh, Arctos Pharma down here. We've got a power station we haven't visited. And then the thing that bother or not bothers me, concerns me, is that there are several places on this map that are blue. Um, that even though they're blue, I haven't like explored yet. Uh, so still have to um, take care of that. Try to remember where I've been, where I haven't been, and rely on you guys to remind me. You guys do a good job at that. Um, Let's, um, I tell you what, let's go to, uh, Grafton. Um, and the reason we're going to go to Grafton is because I've been told that I can get, um, I can get, um, I'll talk on it. There's a Brotherhood of Steel, uh, plans. The uh, combat armor that I was looking for earlier. I should be able to get those th from there. We'll go ahead and step into our excavator armor here so that I can fast travel. And then once we're at the Grafton Station, um, we should be able to scrap our stuff. So I'm carrying around some weapons that I don't need. Okay, back to the map. Back to uh, Grafton Station. Yeah, so it's been mentioned that uh, Grafton Station and, um, let's see, Grafton Station and, where's my, where's the note that I wrote down here? Grafton, Grafton Train Station and the First Aid Station, it says. I, I don't know where the First Aid Station is, but I've been told that those are two locations in Grafton where I should be able to find this um, Brotherhood of Steel Combat Armor plans or material or whatever it is I'm looking for. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hop out of my power armor. Also, oh, there's a comment about um, leaving my backpack on when I get in and out of my power armor. It looked like I still had it on. Uh, right now, I'm at 260. I would be at 230 without the backpack. Um, so when I get back inside of here, let's see if this brings me up to 360 or 330. So now my carry weight is 335, which is strange. So I would say that even though it looks like I'm still wearing my backpack, I, I don't actually get the benefits of the backpack in addition to the power armor. That's what it looks like to me. Cooking station I haven't been to in a long time. I don't know if I have anything that is unspoiled, and I don't. Everything that I'm carrying around is spoiled. So I probably have quite a bit of spoiled meat on me here. Let's see. Let's go down here and see if I got some. Yeah, quite a bit of it. Look at all the spoiled vegetables. 31. They don't weigh much though, so it's not a huge, oh, excuse me, um, benefit in dropping that stuff. 
Um, did I pick up a legendary something or other? Yeah, auto stim, combat armor, left leg. I'm not interested in that, so we're gonna go ahead and sell this thing since I'm right here. Up to 100, no, I'm up to 115 script. And I think 100, 100 script I could use to get something random or something or other. Um, but I guess I don't do that here. So. Let's do a quick scrap. And we'll scrap these weapons. Cool. And uh, we'll scrap these as well. Okay, still after all this time, still unlocking stuff. Um, I think that my stash box is still, no, it's not, I'm surprised. Store junk, that's cool. That's nice, got 192 is still a lot. What the hell am I carrying? I know I ask that question a lot. A lot I ask that question, but 192? I'm actually not sure what I'm carrying at this time. Okay, let's see if this guy's selling anything cool. Welcome. Welcome, Citizen. thanks. I am authorized uh, to trade supplies. Plans. Plans for Brotherhood of Steel combat armor arms, chest piece, and legs. Is that the whole set? It's the whole set, isn't it? Requisitions now available. Okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, while I'm here, we'll sell these off. And we'll sell these off. I never use these. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> well, now that I'm here and now that I've bought those things, um, we did this quest earlier. Uh, now that I've done that, I'm not really sure what to do. I guess I could go back to my camp and uh, craft these things, I guess. Um, right? Upgrade my armor with this these Brotherhood of Steel things that I just picked up. Um, let's see. Let's see. There's also well, something else I'm looking for. I don't know if he's going to sell it. Authorized to trade supplies. Uh... No. I was looking for... Um, pneumatic combat armor, but it doesn't look like he sells, sells it, so. And if he sells anything else that I'm interested in, I don't know what it is. Available here. Okay. Alright, well, I guess I've gotten everything I need. I mean, I got... Um, torso... Let's see, what did I get? I got arms and legs. Arms, legs, and chest piece. I mean, that's pretty much it, isn't it? It's too bad there's not a um, armor bench here. But there's not. Man, my camp is way down here. <laughs> way, 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 way down here. So let's go back to my camp and see if I can't upgrade my armor to this Brotherhood of Steel stuff or... Am I supposed to upgrade it, or am I supposed to craft new stuff? Um, not sure. Actually, now that I think about it, did I even buy the right stuff? These are for... So, the, the note that I got said to get the plans for material. Is Are these the plans for material? I'm not... I'm not sure if I got I bought the right things. Now that I think about it. Is it an obvious that I have no idea what I'm doing? Um Armor Workbench. Modifier repair. Um So I mean I already have 
heavy Brotherhood of Steel combat armor for my left arm. So what can I do with my left leg? Modify reinforced combat armor. I could put Brotherhood of Steel on it if I wanted to. Huh. Um how does this this is certain this is certainly better look at the difference in my damage resists over here with reinforced i'm at 22 and 22 with brotherhood of steel i'm at 29 and 37 so this is better so i'm just changing my huh it's still called heavy though i don't really know what the hell i'm doing uh, heavy reinforced combat armor right arm. Again, we put the Brotherhood of Steel stuff on it. It really increases our damage resistance. Okay. And then uh, my right leg is a legendary, but uh, it's regenerating, but that shouldn't uh, do anything to that, right? It should still regenerate because it's legendary. So yeah, we'll put this uh, this on here. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. And um, so now I have Brotherhood of Steel on my arms and my legs. And then this, I should be able to put this on here as well, right? Okay, so that really ups my um, defense, right? Can't do anything there. I was curious. And then I have this under armor with standard lining. Unfortunately, I don't have any other linings for that. Okay, well that was pretty cool, right? Uh, I kind of wish that I would have um, looked at my um, stats before I did that here to, s to really see the difference, but we, we saw the difference in pieces. So that's kind of cool. That's pretty neat. Okay, um, so we've come back here. Uh, I'm still concerned that I'm carrying so much weight. Uh, one thing that I do want to do since I'm here is, um, speaking of weight, let's go over here to my vending machine. And I think this is my, is this my ammo vending machine? It is. Why are these all grayed out? What does that mean? I'm not sure. But I can uh, put these, these things up for sale. Um, I never remember what my current weapons are using. I, I think one of my weapons is 5.56. Five, 5.56 five, uh, five, five, and 45. That's what I have. Okay. So, sell. Ammo. We'll add this to what I'm currently selling. Uh, uh, why are these different? I don't understand. What's going on here? Oh, item is in another vending machine. Damn it. Good grief. All right, let me take this. I thought that was my ammo vending machine. All right. This is my ammo vending machine. Okay, I'm glad I figured that out. So we're going to add these to this. Get them off my person. See, that went up to 556. 38 rounds. I should probably change the price of this to one. Nobody's going to pay two for that, but maybe they will. I don't know. 44 rounds, uh, 50 rounds, 10 millimeter rounds. Um, these cartridges, 40 millimeter grenade rounds. Uh, and then these cannonball. I don't even want that crossbow bolts I'm selling those for kind of expensive too. No wonder nobody buys this crap. And then fusion cells. Do I have those for sale? I do. Gamma rounds? Yeah, sure. It's not really um, making a very big difference in uh, the amount. Whoa, those mini nukes. Whew, that made a big difference. Missiles should make a big difference too. What? Um, oh, I can't sell these missiles because I'm over encumbered in my stash now. Alright, am I selling railway spikes of all things? I am. I should really probably just get rid of a lot of these. Uh, shotgun shells I'm kind of hanging on to because I may switch to shotgun at some point. I keep thinking about it. 
Okay. Well, I'm down to 167. That's not too bad. And let's go ahead and dump these shotgun shells into my stash. Uh, and I don't need these missiles. Um, but I can't put them up for sale at the moment. Okay. Let's, um... Let's just spend the rest of this episode doing a little bit of exploring. We'll go ahead and um, travel to... I mean, Uncanny Caverns, I feel like, is going to be a place that um, we're going to walk around in, and it may take a while to get there, or to, to f fully explore it. Um, so, I tell you what I am curious about. This place here... Let's travel back to Camden Park... Before I do that... Oh, Vault 76 is way up there. I don't know. It's just caps. I'm going to travel back to Camden Park and we're going to start walking north on this road because there's a big area of the map over there that doesn't have anything on it. Um, so I have to imagine that there's quite a few things over there that we just simply haven't... Um, um, walked close enough to to have it show up on my map so that's what we'll do here we'll just do some more walking okay so we should be south no we're north of camden park that's pretty cool uh so let's turn around and walk this direction and that is an interesting looking icon on my compass there i'm not sure what the hell that is it's kind of weird looking right and then there is somebody's camp and a little house that I also don't have. Oh, hi. Are you friendly? Scavenger Collectron? Is this part of somebody's camp? What are you doing over here, dude? <laughs> okay, he's just kind of hanging out. Man, what happened to this door? Oh, my. What happened in here? Mr. Handy went nuts. A doll head. You gotta keep those fresh. You gotta keep those in the fridge as doll heads, otherwise they'll spoil on you. Mr. Handy. I don't need that sword. Uh, wooden block. Pam. P-A-M. Pam. <laughs> A rad roach. A freaking rad with a wedding ring. It's a rad roach with a hat and a cane sitting on the toilet. Good grief. Alright, just a bunch of random stuff in here. Alright. Well, just, uh, you know, just your typical abode here in Appalachia. Interesting. I'm gonna stop by this guy's camp. He sells plans. Um, am I still looking for plans? That's reminding me that I think there was yet another type of plan that I wanted to look for, but I forgot to look at um, when I was at that uh, last dude. That last um, vendor. Looking for calibrated shocks, I think? I don't know. I can't keep track of all these names, man. Don't want to unlock that. No, sir, we don't. We got a little smoke grenade box. It's locked. Interesting place. So he's selling plans. Uh, nothing that I'm interested in. Yeah, he's selling a bunch of 38 rounds. Okay, don't care for that stuff. Let's um, let's see. If I walk in this direction, there's like a little house over here that I'm curious about. Whoa, missed the stairs. Electrical, haha, <laughs> cool. Yeah, this guy's put some thought into his place here. I like it. 
So in that direction, we're just looking back at Camden Park. I have to imagine that that weird looking icon I'm seeing is this place right here, which I guess is a bottling plant. And that's also a place that I don't think I want to go into this late into an episode because it's probably going to be a big place to walk in and explore. But at least let's put it on our map for the time being. Nuka-Cola, factory tour, free samples and tastings. Um, a couple years ago I was in Atlanta, uh, my brother and I, and we visited the um, Coca-Cola bottling plant. And uh, at the end of the tour, they just had like this big room with a bunch of fountain machines in it, fountain drink machines, with uh, Coca-Cola products from all over the world. And you just help yourself, man. Just get whatever you want. <laughs> just drink it. It was great. <laughs> it was my favorite part of the tour by far. The rest of the tour, there was some cool stuff in there, like some, uh, you know, historical, um, you know, there's all kinds of Coca-Cola memorabilia and stuff. Um, but for the most part, it was kind of cheesy. It was also expensive, but you know, you have to drink a lot of free Coke. So a bunch of icons showing up on our compass now. And you know, I walked right by that and it did not activate on my um, map. And that's okay, because I know it's there. I mean, there's a big drawing there. So we'll be back. Look at that guy standing up there. What's up? So these are really low level dudes here. Probably not going to find anything real neat here. <laughs> so cool watching him fall off of that. So it says caution. Hey, what's up? Come on. Ooh, he actually got a shot off. Lewis and Sons Farming Supply is where we are. Is there another dude out here? And um, what what what's with the scorch detection system? I thought I was supposed to be notified when there were scorched nearby. Scorched right here, and I didn't. I didn't hear squat. I blew into a bunch of bits. That's pretty satisfying. Well, nothing left in this barn. Angry breathing. Why so angry, bro? So what was this place called? Lewis and Sons Farming Supply. Okay. Bag of cement. That's what I want to carry around the wasteland. Pump action shotgun stabilized medium barrel. I don't know. One of the few mods I've picked up that wasn't for melee. Big old tractors here. Pretty neat. I think I called this a loom earlier in the game and I was corrected. This is not a loom. This is a something else. Don't remember what it is. Here's a suit of power armor here. I'm not interested in it though. Just scrap some of this stuff that I picked up. Let's see if there's anything upstairs. Oh, whoop. Foot locker with some good stuff in it. Wow, a lot of duct tape here at this. A lot of duct tape at this farming supply company, apparently. Farmers use a lot of duct tape, I guess. Let's see what's going on up here. Wonder glue. A lot of adhesives. Hmm. 
An old radio. Uh, steamer trunk hiding back here. Alright, well, there's that. And... Got a greenhouse over here. And the remains of a house over there. More farm equipment, farm machinery. These guys didn't quite make it. There's some water. Well, this is a little greenhouse with a bunch of stuff that I'm going to pick and it'll probably just go bad. But, you know, it's good to have it in a pinch. Huh, somebody uh, decided to set down some corn and dirty water there. Interesting. Somebody didn't want corn or dirty water. Well, once upon a time, this was probably a pretty neat place, huh? Ribeye steak just sitting there waiting for us to eat. Somehow preserved after all this time. Okay, yeah, so it's a little shop. Cash register here. Fully expected to see a weapon behind the counter. little hose out here. Let's see if there's anything left of the house. I'm sorry. Looked like he was praying. I interrupted him. That was very insensitive of me. Oh, crap. Ah, uh, I'm stuck in a hole. Oh, I'm stuck in a hole. I might as well gather a log while I'm here. I'm stuck in this damn hole, man. <laughs> I can't get out of this freaking hole. Um, what's a guy to do when he's stuck in a hole? <laughs> I can't jump. I can crouch, but that doesn't do me any good. Um, well, I could try this. What happens if I get out my armor? That's weird. It's like, like that's the only place it's going to let me put it. I don't, let's see. Enter the armor. And... Oh, it worked. I fully expected to be stuck in the hole in the armor. <laughs> Well, that worked. That's one way to get out of a tricky situation. And now that they've fixed the uh, issue with getting in and out of the uh, power armor, I uh, feel a little bit more secure doing that. Cool. Well, I was going to end this episode anyway. Uh, we come back in the next episode. Um, you know, maybe since we're right here by this bottling plant, um, maybe we'll go into this bottling plant and check it out do that at the start of the episode so that we have time to um, explore the whole place. Sounds like a pretty good idea. Oh my gosh. A floating crushed orange canister. I must have it. Maybe it has negative weight. Cool. Well, thanks for joining me again on this episode, everybody. I hope you had fun. If you did, why don't you let me know. Maybe leave me a like or a comment. Thank you to those of you who take the time to do that. I really appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, why not subscribe? And there's like this little bell you're supposed to click so that you get notified whenever I post a video. You don't want to miss out. Thanks for watching, everybody. Sure, be join me again in the next episode.